Uh, the big buzz right now is your boy Terrence Crawford, man. Oh, yeah. fight talk, guys. Yeah, fight talk, baby. All right, so we're going to get ding, to this one. Ding. I just want to briefly touch on this because it was the fight of our generation. Anyone out there who's a fan of boxing, you know, who knows the sport, knows that Crawford and Spence is like the Hagler Hearns of our generation. We've been clamoring for this fight for years and years. Finally happens. Everyone's picking Errol Spence to win. He's the naturally bigger guy. People call it a 50-50 fight, but most people lean towards Errol. Naturally mm. bigger guy, pressure fighter, undefeated, breaks people down, crazy work rate, just a monster of a human being. I had Crawford pick the entire time. I thought Crawford was going to stop him. Not only, as you know, did Crawford go out there and stop him, it was a one-sided ass beating. Dude, I'm going to show you the photo of Errol Spence after the fight. I'm telling you, his eyes were welded shut like lug nuts. He could barely talk. His breathing was messy. He was bleeding from his nose. <laughs> he got destroyed, beat up and stopped in the ninth round. Tremendous fight. Shout out to Terrence Crawford. Congratulations. Number one pound for pound in the world. That was amazing, man. Hey, was it a TKO or did they throw in Ref the Ref stopped it. Yeah, it was yeah. over. Spence was, was still done. trying to stay on his feet, but he was getting literally beaten around the ring. Like He was staggering, getting slaughtered. Ew. I always found that sick when the corner men don't throw in the towel or that you you i know it's embarrassing but that, well, that's now, a serious job you need to protect your fight you better be ready to do that dude. yeah it's just one of those things you that, gotta know also too when to call it yes because yeah. yeah. you know i mean people i always just think of the the simpsons episode where homer <laughs> realizes that he can just keep getting punched and he just has to just like wait it out but then like you know the whole thing is yeah you know it's doing brain damage it's and stuff. TV, man yeah, yeah. Like, you know that's got to be something in real life where like a person can get hit a bunch of times and it's not really a problem yeah and then that last one, like those it one only takes one yeah. it only takes one like those one guys that get kicked in the testicles for five bucks like downtown and stuff you can kick them in the balls are you being them. serious what it's like nerve damage and they don't have any feeling in their testicles yeah but, i mean that's gonna like do domination. some other damage like mutilating yourself yeah, it's absolutely. Also like a domination thing too and they get like girls to do it and well i've seen the videos where they stomp on their balls with like you know stilettos and stuff like that oh but this God. dude just sits downtown with a sign that says kick me in my balls for five bucks and you had all these soccer players rolling up and just pelting him and he's like ah, yeah check it out you know oh my man. god yeah, yeah it's not worth it no well just get a regular job <laughs> <laughs> what's so hard just get a regular his, his kid was with him. Like, yeah. I'm proud of dad. He's just his head down, his face in his hands. It's like every time he, uh, the, the the dad's like, bring your son, Brady. I don't feel it. And the boy Brady, his son, he's like, he's like, yeah. But every time I do, he goes, it's time for me to start grooming you to take over the family yeah. business. <laughs> the kid's just like, so you got the time of him. Flick your balls. <laughs> bring your kid to school day or to work day, dude. He's just having his son getting shaken, but he doesn't have the condition where he can't feel it. There's a union for those people, street performers. Like no, the dude, yeah, the dude with the under. Really? downtown yeah they formed together they formed a union are you being serious dead serious because like every time some new show starts people could just go down there so they were complaining and they get spots like there's designated yeah, circles spots. yeah like dude if you've been walking around in your fucking underwear for the last 30 years playing an acoustic guitar and some kids down there like <laughs> break dancing you're gonna be like dude get the fuck out of here right now oh yeah dude, right he's now. like <laughs> yeah, yeah just trying to it. take it back over yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. he just gets and louder it's just amazing he's doing like these incredible dance moves this is a match of song <laughs> <laughs> kumbaya he's, yeah. he's just going to town on it <laughs> he's like you're, it's you're like tech now he auto tunes it that's trash <laughs> So funny, man. But uh, yeah, no, but uh, uh, so bro, now what's next for Terrence Crawford? I mean, what well, was Crawford? This? The sky is the limit for that guy. At this point in time, he has nothing left to prove. He's a Hall of Fame fighter, one of the best ever lace up the gloves. Yeah. I hope he fights all of his dream fights or retires, does whatever he wants from here on out. Why he's he got ready nothing to left. Dip or I mean, no, he, he's still in his prime, but he's, you know, at the end of it. I would say within the next few years or so. He could fight for as long as he wants, but like, if you want to, if you want to, like, if you want to solidify that legacy, yeah. you go out in the blaze of glory. On top, you know what Absolutely. I mean. And leave that mm -hmm. last memory. You don't want to go out like Ali getting his jaw broke fifteen fights later. You know what I mean, like getting asked what by everybody. Same thing with my man Roy Jones Jr., greatest greatest fighter that ever lived. But it's look what happened. It does. does. You got to know when to walk away, and I it's get like it. Man. A, These guys are fighters, and they, I'm a fighter. Look, fighter. It's like, dude, go. You, you never. You just. You never want to make Indiana Jones four. Yeah, never. Well, well, he stopped at the trilogy, greatest tri one of the greatest trilogies ever made. So yeah. just don't get knocked the fuck out. Don't make don't that last Disney. sequel. Get out of there. Don't yeah. be Disney. I mean, it